Hi friends today we will study fun with magnets a magnet is an object which attracts things made of iron steel nickel and cobalt magnets are made of iron steel or other alloys of iron by the process of magnetization magnets made in this way are called artificial magnets magnets are made in different shapes and size so that they can be used for different purposes the common shape is bar magnet A bar magnet is a long rectangular magnetized bar of iron or steel. Some of the other types of magnets are horseshoe magnet, U-shaped magnet, cylindrical magnet or rod magnet, button magnet and ring magnet. Let us see how magnets were discovered. There is an old story that magnets were discovered by chance by an old shepherd named Magnus who lived in ancient Greece. Magnus used to take his herd of sheep and goats to nearby mountain for grazing. He always took wooden stick with him to manage his herd of sheep and goats. The wooden stick had an iron casing at its lower end. One day, Magnus suddenly felt that something was pulling his stick away from him. It appeared as if the iron covered end of stick was been attracted by a rock and got stuck to the rock. Magnus had to pull hard to free the iron end of the stick from the rock. The rock was a natural magnet which attracted the iron end of magnet stick. This rock which behaved like a magnet was given the name magnetite. Magnetite rock contains iron. Magnets were named so after the name of shepherd Magnus. Some people however believe that natural magnet called magnetite was first discovered at a place called Magnesia in Turkey. The magnetite rock had wonderful properties. The magnetite attracted pieces of iron towards itself and when a thin strip of magnetite was suspended from a thread so that it could rotate freely the magnetite strip always aligned itself in the same direction that is north and south direction one end of the strip always pointed towards north direction due to this property the freely suspended magnetite strips were used by sailors in the ships to find direction in olden times Since magnetite was used to find directions to lead the way of ships it was also called lodestone the pieces of magnetite rocks are known as natural magnets magnetic materials and non magnetic materials those materials which are attracted by magnet are called magnetic material iron steel nickel and cobalt are attracted by magnet so these are all magnetic materials The most common and important magnetic materials are however iron and steel. All the objects made of iron and steel like nails, paper clips, sewing needles, hair pins, drawing pins, knife, blade, scissors etc are also attracted by magnet. So these are also magnetic materials. Similarly, the objects made of nickel and cobalt metals are also attracted by the magnets and hence they are also magnetic materials. Magnetic materials can be magnetized that means they can be converted into magnets rather magnets are usually made from magnetic materials like iron and steel those materials which are not attracted by magnets are called non magnetic materials all the materials other than iron steel nickel and cobalt are non magnetic materials wood plastic rubber paper cloth glass leather thermocol copper aluminum brass stone etc are all non magnetic materials in fact most of the materials around us are non magnetic materials non magnetic materials cannot be magnetized the magnetic and non magnetic properties of various objects are made use of in our day to day life for example If a large number of pins from a pin box fall on the floor and get scattered, we can collect all the pins quickly by using a magnet. If we move a magnet over the pins scattered on floor, all the pins will get attracted to the magnet and stick to it. Similarly, if a carpenter has mixed some iron nails and screws with lots of wood shavings while working, he can easily get back nails and screw using magnet. If he moves magnet over the wood shaving containing nails and screws the nails and screws being magnetic in nature will be attracted towards the magnet and stick to it while wood shaving being non magnetic in nature will remain as it is on the floor
the pull of magnets can pass through non magnetic materials the pull or attraction of magnets can pass through non magnetic materials like plastic paper cardboard wooden plank air skin and bones etc if we take a small iron ball and place it on a piece of a cardboard we will be able to move this small iron ball with the help of magnet by holding it just below the cardboard and move it anywhere as per our wish the pull or attraction of a magnet however cannot pass through magnetic materials like iron and steel objects poles of a magnet friends iron filings are the small particles of iron metal and if a bar magnet is put into a heap of iron filing the iron filings will cling to it or stick to it we will see that maximum amount of iron filings are attracted towards the two ends of the magnet this shows that the force of attraction of the magnet is strongest near the two ends of the bar magnet the two ends of the bar magnet are called poles of the magnet a magnet always has two poles the two poles of magnets are near its free ends the two poles of the magnets are always different one pole of the magnet is called as north pole while the other pole is called as south pole the north pole is represented by the letter n and south pole is represented by letter s on magnet every magnet whether big or small has a north pole and south pole it is impossible to have magnet with only one pole the same type of magnetic poles are called as like poles north pole of one magnet and north pole of the other magnet are like poles similarly south pole of one magnet and south pole of the other magnet are like poles these like poles repels each other the different types of magnetic poles are called unlike poles north pole of one magnet and south pole of other magnets are unlike poles these unlike poles attracts each other let us now understand the properties of magnets the two most important properties of magnets are a freely suspended magnet always points in north and south direction and like magnetic poles repel each other and unlike magnetic poles attract each other a freely suspended magnet always points in north and south direction if a bar magnet is suspended freely it will swing for a while and comes to rest with one end pointing towards north pole of the earth while other ends pointing towards the south pole of the earth the end of magnet which points towards the north direction is called north seeking end or north pole of the magnet this end is marked with n letter on it the end of magnet which points towards south direction is called south seeking end or south pole of the magnet this end is marked with s letter on it now before studying how to find the directions by using freely suspended magnet we will know what the various directions on the earth are the four major directions are north south east and west they are denoted as n s e and w respectively we have four more directions as northeast northwest southeast and southwest the northeast direction is midway between north and east direction and so on and so forth the sun always rises from the east direction so in the morning if we stand facing the sun we with both hands extended we are facing east direction then our left arm will point towards north direction and right arm will point towards south direction and back will face the west direction finding directions the property of a freely suspended magnet to align itself always along the north south of the earth is used to find directions at unknown places for centuries travelers on land and at the sea have been using this property of magnets to find directions later on when artificial magnets were discovered an instrument called compass was developed by scientist this instrument is used to find the directions more conveniently in a compass a tiny magnet is placed on a pivot which is free to rotate just like a freely suspended magnet a freely pivoted magnet also comes to rest along the north south direction the north pole of a compass needle is painted with a different color to distinguish it from the south pole this north pole end of the magnet always shows the north direction of the earth a compass helps the people to find their ways for example compass is used by sailors while at sea so as to take their ships to right direction 
This phenomenon of freely suspended or freely pivoted magnet to align in north south direction is because our earth also shows magnetism. The earth behaves as if a giant bear magnet is buried at its center. It is the force exerted by the earth's imaginary magnet which acts on a freely suspended or freely pivoted magnet and always makes them point in north south direction. Light magnetic poles ripple and unlike magnetic poles attract. If we hold two bar magnets in both our hands and try to bring their ends of both the magnets closer to each other then magnets will either attract each other or ripple from each other. This attraction or repulsion depends on the poles of the magnets. If the like poles of magnets like south pole of both the magnets or north pole of both the magnets are brought closer they will ripple each other. And if the unlike poles of both the magnets that is south pole of one magnet and north pole of the other magnets are brought closer they will attract each other. Making your own magnet. There are many ways of making magnets. The easiest way of making a magnet is by the stroking method. If we stroke an iron bar with one pole of a bar magnet repeatedly in same direction, the iron bar becomes a magnet. We can turn any iron or steel object into a magnet by the stroking method. For example, we can even convert an iron nail, a sieving needle or even a razor blade into a magnet by stroking method. Magnets can also be made by using electricity. The magnets made by using electricity are called electromagnets. Electromagnets are very useful because their magnetisms can be switched on or off as desired. We will study about electromagnetisms in details in higher classes. Precautions in handling magnets. The magnets lose their property of magnetism if they are heated strongly, hit with a hammer or dropped from a height. Hence Following precautions need to be taken to protect magnet from damage and retain its magnetic property. We should never heat a magnet over a burner. We should never hit a magnet with a hammer. We should never drop a magnet on the floor. And we should store the magnets properly when it's not in use. How to store magnets properly? The magnets tend to lose their magnetism gradually and become weak over a period of time if they are not stored properly. To prevent the loss of magnetism, the magnet should be stored properly when not in use. The bar magnets are stored in pairs separated by a piece of wood with their unlike poles on the same side and bars of soft iron kept across their ends. The horseshoe magnet or U-shaped magnet are also stored properly just by keeping a bar of soft iron across their ends. Since Horseshoe magnet has both its pole on the same side, so one horseshoe magnet requires only one soft iron bar for its proper storage. Let us now understand the uses of magnets. Magnets are used for a large number of purposes. Some of the important uses of magnets are as below. Magnets are used to hold objects like stickers, refrigerators doors, pencil box lids, pins, etc. Magnets are used to separate discarded iron and steel objects from other waste non-magnetic materials. Magnets are used to make compass and magnets are used in telephones, hair dryers, doorbells, mixers and grinders, fans, washing machines, television sets, tape recorders, electric motors, electric generators and various types of toys. Magnets are also used to separate iron and steel objects from other waste materials. An electromagnet is fitted to the long arm of a crane by chains. This long arm is lowered over the heap of waste materials and electric current through electromagnet is switched on. The iron and steel from the waste materials gets attracted towards the strong attraction of magnet and sticks to it. The arm of the crane is then moved to a place where the steel objects are to be dropped. To drop the iron and steel objects stick to the electromagnet, the electric current is switched off. At this point of time, the electromagnet loses its magnetism and the iron and steel falls on the desired place. Friends, that's all about fun with magnets. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you liked it. Please do like share and subscribe to my channel 
and press the bell icon to get notification on new videos thank you and all the best